Um, I suppose it goes back to when I was at a high school really um, and you get to do work experience at high school and there was a big list of things and I was interested in chemistry and it was potluck really and I went and did my pharmacy um, experience within the Falkirk Hospital at Falkirk Royal. It was interesting, just, it just looked interesting and the people were really nice actually so it was there was that was it basically it wasn't like a lifelong dream or anything but it was it was good well, it looked like a good basis for a, a start off anyway um well i'm a senior technician uh, within the pharmacy department so i've kind of worked my way up from the bottom um and we don't just count tablets <laughs> a lot of it is, is that but we don't just do that so i manage a, a small team within the dispensary here um, and we dispense the prescriptions for the whole of the, the hospital and outlying hospitals as well on discharge and we also supply um, numerous other services from, from pharmacy. On a busy day I would say we could probably do about a, over 100 discharges um, and we can hit up to about 70 outpatients on a really busy day as well. Um, so yes, we are busy behind the, the glass panel of pharmacy that no one else sees behind really. Now we, we, we are all in, in uniforms, but when I first started in, um, in pharmacy back in Bells Dyke days, uh, it was your normal smart clothes with a, with a white coat on top. Um, so there's, it's, you, you're not a doctor, you're approached as a doctor sometimes, you're not a doctor, but um, also being approached as a, an ice cream salesperson as well, <laughs> uh, driving about in a wee mini in days gone by and getting out and getting sh shouted at to buy ice cream from. But <laughs> Uh, no, uh, yes, so there has been uh, lots of developments across the board there. Yeah. Oh, do you know, I think everybody harks, harks back to the good old days, and we all do it, we all do it, and yeah, it was, it was good, but I think in 20 years we'll be harping back to the times that we're in at the moment, seeing how good it was and all the rest of it. I think people kind of lose sight of that, um, but yeah, oh. As, I mean, back in the, the old days of pharmacy, they used to make batches of creams and ointments and things like that. Whereas, no, we don't we don't have that as much of a hands-on in the manufacturing of things within pharmacy any longer. Likes of this here is a pill making machine. Um, so, what would happen is the active ingredient um, would have been mixed together uh, and then put into long thickness and into a roll and this would you'd use this machine um, to then cut it into the, the different size pills um, so it's, it's not a weapon <laughs> although it looks like some sort of thing and it would make the pill round and make it into a uniform shape Every year we do a Secret Santa and um, in years gone by we used to put on a little play or a wee ditty and get the people within pharmacy involved. Or we've had um, other people throughout the hospital involved in it as well. We've had Les Nimmo dressed up as Santa and um, other people's husbands and things like that. Um, so there's been compromising situations <laughs> with getting people dressed and things like that into these costumes over the years. Um, one year I was dressed up as Princess Leia and had uh, croissants on my ears. <laughs> oh, that big shiny badge that I'll be getting! Oh, I don't know. Um, I think it's I think it's an achievement to be working anywhere for twenty years, um, and lots of people do notch up numerous years service within the NHS but I, still, I, I think 20 years is still something to be proud of, yeah.